Hey guys, it's Jenny and welcome back to my channel, Jen Jen's Creations. This video is going to be an unboxing of a monthly subscription that I have decided to try for two months. And it is the Your Creative Studio uh, monthly subscription. And as you can see, <laughs> They put August on the box, so this is August box. Now, I can't remember whose video I was watching. It was a journal maker that got this box, but I was like, you know what? I think I would like everything in this box. So, there's the lid. It's, I have, as you can see, I have not gotten into it. I've waited until I could make this video. Now, it comes with a card, and everybody says whatever is on the front of the card kind of gives you a hint as to what is in the box. So, it says on the back, Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you would enjoy our August collection, your creative studio. So, as you can see, it's got a little squirrel with some strawberries. So let's see. I'm gonna open the seal. Oops, I'm oh my gosh. Okay, so. Oh, so look at these. Hold on. This is two layers. It looks like. Um, these might be considered like die cuts or something. Well, hmm. you know what? My hand, okay, here we go. My hand is giving me some issues, but how adorable. So the paper is textured and it's got a banner at the top. Yeah, they all have this um, soft background. Um, I don't know if it's, anyway, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a tree or what, but it's really subtle. And there's a squirrel with a stump and some mushrooms, but they're so cute. You could use these as tags, as gift tags, and put somebody's name on them, or you could stamp on them. So, so cute. I don't know how many you get. Okay, but that's the first thing with the little squirrel down there. So cute. Okay, now... Let's see, this is probably washi tape. Let me see. Oh no, it's not washi tape. Looks like some stickers. Oh, okay, so we've got book, flower, Ooh, and there's two of everything, a bee. Everybody's going bee crazy right now, but I have not jumped on that bandwagon, guys. Berries, an owl. I love owls. North Pole. Oh, that's cute. So you could use that for um, Christmas. Happy holiday. There's a reindeer. Very cute. More botanical type stuff. Chocolate. Sayers. So it's just like a little label. Oh, here's a bunny. Oh, I'm in frame, yeah. There's a bunny. Oh, the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is a big variety of things, guys. More little labels. A uh, pocket watch. And there's our little squirrel. So cute. Um, I don't know if that's a church or, or what. If that's something famous, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. Um, I think, yeah, that's something French. Okay, and then we've got grass. 
feather pen and an inkwell and then a typewriter and then some leaves. So this is cute, and if you wanted to, like the leaves, maybe one of them, I may try coloring one of them to see what it looks like. Wow, that's a pretty nice box of stickers there, and a big variety, different kinds. Oh, wait a minute. There were some stragglers. Oh, you guys are going to laugh. Guess what it is. <laughs> like I said, you're probably sick and tired. <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> Of course. It's like they knew Jenny needed something else to go in her bird journal, so that's great. I'll be using those for sure in my bird journal. Sticker. Okay, so we got a box of stickers. Okay, what is this? Black and white masking tape. Let's see what this looks like. It's super thin, I can tell you that. Dropped. Wow, that is thin. So there's some masking tape. And it just has that pattern on it, the leaves. I don't know if you can see if I'm doing a good enough job. Hold on. Sorry, guys. There it is. And there's the tape. So I'm pretty sure this is washi. They're calling it masking tape, but it's washi. So that's cool. I don't have any tape like that. Okay, I'm impressed so far. What is this? Vintage tag. Let's see about this. Mm. I'm sorry, I know I'm not in frame. Okay, vint vintage tag. Okay. So, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay. So, they have holes in the tops of them. And it's, you know, like, um, oh, not chipboard, but really thick cardstock. Okay. There's a caterpillar. All right. So, we have those. Then we have a butterfly. Yeah. That's pretty. Okay, and then we have some that are this shaped. Ooh, pretty woman in the background. Ooh, vase flowers. That one's pretty. These will be nice. Oh, mushrooms. Nice. It says August on it, a little calendar. Okay. And then we have this shape, kind of pointy at the top, with some white flowers. Butterfly. It says nature at the top. Ooh, I don't know what that um, instrument is called. I know it's not a guitar. Gosh, I forget what it's called. I don't even know if I know. I'm sorry, but. I'm pretty sure it has a name and I don't want to say it. It's not a ukulele, it's something different. A mandala maybe, I don't know. Okay, there's a bee, another vintage looking one. Okay, then we have some traditional tag shape tags with roses, flower, more flower, very pretty. Strawberries. And then some music notes, and is that a dogwood? I'm not sure what kind of flower that is. Might be a Japanese blossom, I'm not sure. Pretty, okay. And then we have a little bit larger tags. Some berries. Ooh. Makes me think of a moonflower, but I'm not sure. And then more floral with a calendar that says May. Okay, then we go back smaller. Okay. Let me pull. Okay, now all these are dark, so they're all on craft cardstock. 
roses, butterfly. I just want to go fast. Dragonfly, butterfly. I don't want to lose your interest. Roses, roses, flower, floral with some script, floral, butterfly, floral. Oops. Ooh, sunflowers. I may, I'm, I'm wanting to do a sunflower journal, so that'll be pretty in that. A violin with a flower. Floral. Mushroom. Butterfly. I think that's strawberries again. Strawberries. Butterfly or moth. I think those are moths. Um, floral. 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 I'm not sure what kind of insect that is. And then another floral. Okay, so we got a box full of tags called the Flowers Highlights. Hmm. Okay. So we have all those tags that came in this little box. So I'm going to put them back in the little box. Okay. All right, what's next? Okay, let's open up this little package. Let's do it this way. Little envelope. Cute little envelope. Oh, I think this is a stamp. I, I think every uh, month comes with a stamp. So the stamp this month is that cute little squirrel. Alright, so got the cute little, that's what it looks like. Cute little squirrel stamp. And I know they said, you know, you take off this clear part when you want it to stick. Yeah, there you go. But they said keep it and put it back on. But you take this clear part off and then this, yeah, that's sticky. And it'll stick to either your stamp block or, you know, in your stamping platform. So that is cute. Got a little squirrel stamp. Paper Hidden Copies. Not sure what this is. Let's find out. Opening. I don't know if you guys have heard of your creative studio or not. Um, like I said, okay, it's just a book of, like, stamps. All different kinds of stamps. Different colors. That's neat. Reader stamp. Nice. Okay, so that's a package of all different kinds of stamps. Let's see what's inside. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is another one. Must be another stamp, maybe. Yep, it's another stamp. So it's the squirrel face, whoops, facing forward now. Yep. How cute. So anyway, red stamp, stamp, I mean, uh, squirrel facing forward, cute, 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 so I've got two stamps, nice, lace, let's see what the lace looks like. Oh, it's like um, vinyl type. Hmm. I feel it on the back. I can feel, I don't know if it's paper, made out of paper. No, it's probably vinyl. Okay, so there's this, the uh, lace. I don't know if you keep it on the clear stuff or what. There are no instructions, so... I don't know. I guess I'll find out, but maybe you just keep it on the clear. And then I got to, how would you attach it? So tape and adhesive wouldn't show. But anyway, I'll figure it out. Okay. Antique bookstore. So this looks like different types. Hmm. It's like books. All books are divisible into two classes, the books of the hour and the books of 
all time. Books are treasure banks storing wisdom passed down from generation to generation. Good books are like a wise and nice man of last generation who supports me to walk forward and helps me come to understand the world. So I guess these are just like you would take out of a book. Barefoot Days. Hmm. Little verses for very little people. That's kind of cute. It's on different colors of paper. The sad heart of a little trot. Huh. So these are like excerpts out of book. Oh, Cinderella. Or the little glass slipper. Once upon a time, there lived a gentleman who married twice his second wife. Oh, so yeah, it's the very beginning of Cinderella. That's kind of neat. Flower Fairies of the Wayside. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This one's called Dreamland. Beauty and the Beast. There we go. That's a book. That, I mean, I knew of Cinderella, too. Well, that's neat. So, Beauty and the Beast. Spring Magic. I'm in frame. Spring Magic. And we're probably down to the last one. Water, lil Water Lilies. Okay. Well, those are interesting. Maybe you guys can give me ideas. I mean, I guess I just would have... I could make them into pockets or just use them as decoration on pages. I'll have to think about that, how I would use them. So, I'm thinking about my sunflower journal, my bird journal, whatever. So, I have to think about how to use those. Okay, and then we've got... Oh, some like see-through clear stickers. Up the squirrel, the le acorns, leaves, two mushrooms, a couple of squirrels. So we got some clear stickers. And then we got some stamps. Gosh, I don't want to bore you. Wow, this looks, look at my, look at my book of stamps. And then this is their book of stamps. So that, okay. Yeah, very, look at that. Holy moly, did we order from the same person? That's neat. So I'm pretty sure I'll like them. I don't want to bore you guys and go through every single stamp, so... hauled some postage stamps off the of Valley Express, so it's very similar to that. Okay, and let's see. We have um, a notepad. I can always use a notepad to make my grocery list and jot down things I'm supposed to do. I've got to write out some thank you notes in a very bad way. I need to do that tonight. Okay, so we've got a notepad. Oh, that's cute with the squirrel. So that's what the paper looks like on the notepad. Very nice. Like it. And it says on the back, oh wait, okay. And it changes. I didn't know that. There's another. Nice. 
this. Let's see if there's one more. Yep, one more. Squirrel with the mushroom. Nice. Let's see if there's one more. Nope, that's it. Okay, so three different... Yeah, three different papers in there, so that's nice. I'm going to leave that out. Okay, and then the last thing is I think they give you some neat uh, type of paper. I can't remember if it's like... I don't know. I don't remember, but it's um, paper. to go read. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, every kit is a little bit different, but kind of basically the same, but yeah, all these papers are the same. I don't know how to describe it. It's fibrous feeling, almost like tissue paper, but that would be neat. You're probably going to go, <gasps> but that would be neat to tear and use for layering, you know, in a journal. That is really nice. It feels nice. So I like that. Okay, guys, you stuck with me to the end. I really, really appreciate it. You should go check them out. Um, if you order more than one month at a time, of course, they give you a discount. So that's why I got two months. And so I don't know if they have any more of August left. But if you liked what you saw... Um, this is the August, um, your creative studio kit, but you know, you get quite a bit I think it's over there. Look at all the stuff you get. It's quite a bit. So, um, very nice. Very nice. I'm happy. Happy, happy. Love the stamps for sure. And the rubber stamps. Love the rubber stamps and the notepad and this paper. This paper was really nice, so I can definitely use that in my journals. So, okay guys, so that was Your Creative Studio. So go check them out. You just go to yourcreativestudio.com and then you can see what they're all about, guys. So anyway, thank you for watching this video, the unboxing of the monthly kit. I really appreciate it. I want to send you love and prayers. And speaking of prayers, I told you I, I had a serious um, prayer request. And what it is, it's my stepson's wife. Her name is Lily. And she has a, it's a pretty rare disease, and I can't remember the name of it. It's on my phone, which is what I use to record videos, so I can't even look right now. But um, when you have this condition, you develop um, wounds on your legs, and they can be very, very debilitating. And right now, Lily can barely walk. So... Um, and in addition to this rare disease, you can also develop secondary issues, which she has developed. It's almost like a leukemia. It's, I love my stepson to death. He's so kind and thoughtful. Um, he just said, the doctor said the cancer is in the blood. But when I Googled her um, issue, her problem with her legs, um, it looked like it's a type of leukemia. So they do live in Texas and they've made an appointment to get into MD Anderson in Houston, but I think they couldn't get in until August and she's not doing well. Um, I want to say that it's a, a genetic or a hereditary type problem because she lost a sister who had this same problem and her sister was younger than me when she died and she I guess she fought for six years with this condition and I want to say that oh, what is this this is August I want to say that Lily um I can't remember if it was last year or sometime this year that she developed such severe open wounds on her legs that she had to miss work. She could not go to work. She could barely walk. So apparently, 
Um, I haven't seen her recently. They, they live, anyway, they live, I think it's three, three and a half hours away from us. But, um, my husband talks to his son regularly and I'm always like, please ask him how Lily is doing. And so I guess right now she's not doing well. So they have a son that's three years old and then she has a boy and a girl from a previous relationship and they're teenagers. So, you know, they need their mom. They need their mom to stick around for a while. So... If you guys would pray for Lily, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, we need her to get better. So, and if there's any way, you know, please pray that they could get in faster to MD Anderson. Um, I just pray that MD Anderson can give them more help than the specialist in the city where they're living right now can give them. So, anyway, just pray for Lily. Um, my stepson's name is Mike or Michael. Just pray for them and their family and um, that God, God can do this. He can turn this around. He can heal Lily. And so that's what I'm praying for is that God would heal her and show her a miracle and that it would affect her heart, you know toward God and having a personal relationship with um, our Lord and the Savior. So that's what that's what I'm praying also is that Michael and Lily would experience a miracle and that they would know where it came from beyond a shadow of a doubt and it would change them. That's what I'm praying for too. So anyway, thank you guys um, for listening to me and for watching this video and I've got to go. It's time for me to cook dinner. So I will catch you later, but I want to send you crafty hugs from Texas, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.